back everyone. So in this video I'll be introducing Alex and he'll be talking about his experience with Colt Steel's The Web Developer Bootcamp and also his advanced bootcamp and my jQuery's Ajax course and then his journey to interviewing and getting a developer job and where things are now for him. So Alex I'll go ahead and let you take it from here. About my uh, journey into a development so before a bootcamp, I actually was trying to uh, learn web dev by uh, some free tutorials. Like I uh, completed some courses on edX by W3C, but um, they actually were not so practical. Like they were teaching stuff there, like uh, my micro data in HTML and using Canvas. And it was really not so useful to know Canvas before you know like actual JavaScript and HTML and stuff. So it was like, <laughs> it was really then changing uh, the whole situation when I found uh, Udemy and found uh, Bootcamp. And so when I started, I already knew some HTML and CSS but uh, it really helped uh, like tasks and practical examples really helped to uh, make uh, this knowledge uh, like stick in and later on uh, so later i i finished bootcamp in about like a month and a half but i was wasn't learning or doing anything else almost but a bootcamp. So I then practiced a bit with a node, with a express and uh, with the rest of stuff I learned. And after that, I actually, so I actually passed a Ajax course that on a dev pro that you made. So uh, that's that. And after that, I, uh, I tried to apply for a job, but at that point, I uh, my application they declined me. Uh, this this was just a small company that was focusing on a development with a WordPress, and so they were using. I can't say that these technologies are like old or something, but they were using jQuery and like Bootstrap and uh, this stuff like. And I, at the time, I was already learning React, so uh, I really wanted to like to develop with uh, with these technologies. So I, at the time, was uh, studying an advanced uh, bootcamp by Colt. So. After I finished it, and again, I practice all the things that I learned there. Uh, I applied for a job again, and after passing like two interviews, so I applied uh, on two positions in different companies, and they uh, both accepted accepted me. So I already had to choose. So now I'm working full time. It's been half a year already. I'm working full time as a front end developer. Although initially I thought I'll, I'm going to be a full stack, but I, I didn't find a company here in my area that would uh, have a Node.js uh, focused backend. So the company I'm actually working now, they use Rails for like 90% of all their back backend development. So yeah, and about like uh, the things uh, that I think are my greatest achievements, like uh, on this year's CES, uh, small projects from our company was shown there. So it's, it's just like a screen with a pre-alpha release but still like it was shown there wow that's oh. really cool so uh, about a month and a half you said to complete colt's web developer boot camp 
And then yeah. did you say you followed it up with my Ajax course? Yeah. Was that a... So uh, I, I was actually, uh, I, I finished course, but I really felt like uh, all this uh, having to, you know, refresh the page to see the new da data. So uh, I really wanted to make it more dynamic. So yeah, I, I learned your Ajax course and I implemented some of its features in, I was actually doing my own project which I haven't finished, of course, but uh, which helped me to... Okay, so this pra the practice uh, it gave me it was really helpful. So, like, for those who are just passing uh, the bootcamp right now, it, it's uh, incredibly helpful if just after you finish the course, you'll try to recreate something like a Yelp camp something maybe it's not a yell cap itself some like i was trying to recreate nine dead so i haven't finished it but but it was something and it really helped yeah so that, that yeah i think the the doing a side project or a personal project after you complete the course is really useful because then you find where your weaknesses are and in addition to that you also learn a lot of stuff because you have to figure things out on the fly. You have to say, okay, yeah. well, I don't understand this part, or maybe I didn't understand this part as well as I thought I did, so now I need to go back and research it and figure it out. Yeah, because because it's, it can be actually very tricky when you finish the course and you think, oh, yeah, I I'm, I'm actually wrote this application. So, yeah, I know this stuff. But when you're trying to do this yourself, there are always some tricky parts that you might forget or just... Like when you do it yourself complete, and you can just look at code examples that you wrote in the course, but when you do this this whole thing by yourself, it like th that's when when you learned it. Yeah, yeah, things really get set in stone. So you said you started learning React before you were interviewing, and you interviewed for kind of a, a WordPress shop, and they used jQuery and Bootstrap, which is fine, but it's not really what you wanted to do. So did you learn React entirely from Colt's advanced course or did you pick it up somewhere else as well? Uh, well, I wasn't actually planning to learn React. I, I wasn't really sure what framework I was gonna learn. I was at the time, uh, I wanted to learn like fundamentals really well because like everyone says that fundamentals are important. So yeah, I, I thought, well, that's probably so. And it is so, like fundamentals is the, one thing that you should always learn the best you can because they never change like react view and other things in a year they might might be gone but javascript is gonna stay like for for some time so uh yeah i actually uh, i learned uh i i studied uh, all the lectures that were in cult cult scores but actually after that, I also passed some other free tutorials on the web. I don't, I don't actually, I think it was uh, Traversy Media. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Brad Traversy, he's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's cool. Yeah, he's got a lot of good free content on YouTube, uh, also a lot of stuff on Udemy. And then I've heard from other React developers that medium.com has a lot of great free tutorials if, you're, if you'd prefer to read than watch a video. I actually prefer watching like uh, I know some developers who like when I when I told them that all my courses were like video they were surprised and saying like why because like you can read stuff way faster but, and, and it's true but for me like video content is always easier maybe maybe it's because I tend to be distracted and video content is just easier this way yeah for sure uh yeah everybody learns differently uh, for me it's kind of a balance of the two like i'll, I'll watch some videos uh, especially if i'm just kind of tired of reading but then yeah a lot of the time when i'm learning I'm, I'm typically just like breaking stuff breaking 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 running into errors and then trying to figure out like go research how to solve that stuff yeah but but, but sometimes yeah when when you have a project uh, that's that has a deadline and you gotta learn this library you you can't like watch a video you you have to read for docs and yeah and so make that, it work in somehow that brings me to a follow-up question uh so two, two part question first part 
how long between starting to code and getting your job like what was that duration of time was it six months or a year or well um it's a bit tricky here because well i started like learning uh, programming in general like um uh, it was spring of 2017 but then again i didn't like i wasn't uh studying constantly since then uh so i i i i'd say that the moment when i really started learning web dev is when i started uh called uh, web dev bootcamp and it was uh a year ago like it was december 2017. awesome so um the other question is now that you're working in the industry and you're working for a company with other developers are you still learning stuff frequently, like on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, have you also had any issues with like imposter syndrome or just being stressed out, like being around other people that potentially know more than you do and you're just trying to like keep up the pace and things like that? And then, like you mentioned, deadlines, stay on top of that stuff. Okay, so that's uh, a lot. So uh, about imposter syndrome, I really, I, I'm I'm thinking sometimes that like you know when you work at, when you're creating like some when you work at a factory or something when you create some physical stuff that you can touch that you can see uh, and we we are just creating some abstract stuff and like yeah it's it's working it's it's something of a particular value but it sometimes it feels that it's all like abstract and not real uh, but I didn't really have felt it too much and uh, uh, about my colleagues like uh, I started uh, developing when I was 23 years old and like we got like senior devs uh, that are <laughs> same age as me in the company so <laughs> it's not a lot of them like but but there are and, and they're really they're really experienced guys but and sometimes it's irritating but still like it's it, i wouldn't say that it's too much so yeah uh i might for, forget something uh, for oh, just whether or not you're you're learning on a daily basis like you yeah like... yeah sure like uh and it's like partially uh, thanks to the company because i really like my company we for every uh developer uh, our mentors create a personal development plan and there's like a list of technologies that you gotta learn to get to the next level list a uh, list of like soft skills hard skills all the stuff so and yeah so and like once or two times a year there's a review of your skills and if you pass it you got a bigger salary and stuff and yes uh, i try uh, if it's possible to learn some stuff to develop some stuff uh, in my free time like i don't do it every day but like right now i'm uh working on a graph graphql api with express trying to uh, recreate slack awesome yeah that sounds like a fun tutorial is that a uh, brad traversy tutorial uh no it's a tutorial by a guy uh, ben ava i'm not sure how his last name is pronounced yeah, I thought I had seen something about that recently. Slack with GraphQL and, and Mongo and whatnot, yeah. or not Mongo, but I'm but, uh, but I'm but I'm trying to make it with a uh, server side rendering with an XJS, and it's like a very tricky thing because like NextJS, although it's uh, although it's it's the best of what you can find in a server side rendering for React, it's still a very fresh technology, and there are some things that you, you can find answers on Stack Overflow, so you gotta figure it out yourself. Yeah, and that's where the really understanding the fundamentals of JavaScript comes into play. Yeah, I feel like, yeah that's, then, 
you could potentially be the person that actually writes the solution to that bug and then puts in a pull request on the Next.js repository. So two final questions for you. Um, the first one is compared to jobs that you've had in the past or any work of that type, how satisfied are you with this career change? Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and start there and then I'll ask you the other one as a follow-up. Uh, I actually, uh, this work as a developer is my first uh, job ever because oh, awesome. like like before I was uh, studying at university, but I dropped out for like a lot of reasons. So, and how satisfied I am? Well, I'm like, I, I, I maybe sound a bit, um, I don't know. I mean, I can't be more satisfied with my job. I'm like waking up in the morning and I'm thinking what I'm going to call today, like how I'm going to make this thing better. Yeah. That's awesome. So you, so you feel like overall you made a really good decision. In terms yeah. Of I mean, I mean, switching to programming from the field I was before is like the best decision I guess I may ever, ever make. Awesome. Really glad to hear that. Well, uh, I appreciate you coming on. As one last uh, thing, what what would be like your biggest piece of advice to current and existing students of uh, Colt's courses or any of my courses? I I'd say that the greatest thing that I would advise myself when I started coding is take your time. Like, don't rush uh, to some frameworks or stuff. Don't try to get like take take your time learn uh, fundamentals learn for sure that you know them then learn some framework it's one framework really good all react or angular or view just make sure that when you come to the in job interview you will you'll un you'll answer the questions and you'll you're able to make some real application with it definitely so awesome Cool, man. Well, I appreciate it. And it um, sounds like things are going really good for you. So best of luck with uh, your career and the future and all of that. And uh, yeah, man, thanks for coming on and chatting with yeah, us. Thanks, and thanks for everything. Me. Awesome. Thanks, Alex.